All right, welcome back to my Monster Train 200 plus Shard Complete Rotations. I uh, hope you are doing well. I'm back to recording videos from my vacation. This is actually the first video I'm recording post-vacation. The other one would have come out a little bit sooner, but I uh, actually lost power uh, before leaving. Couldn't get it uploaded or set up, so it is what it is. Hopefully you had a nice vacation. Mine was... You know, good, relaxing. I just need a vacation from the vacation upon getting home. So I'm playing video games. Anyways, last time we were Hornbreaker Prince paired with Fractures, I believe. And I had to check this because it's been a while. Uh, we had Old Magic on Hold Over Descend with Sap. And we used that to great effect to help us win. Some good old damage spells, Infernos, Hornbreaks. Uh, and then scaling our prince helped us get the win. This time we are on to Awoken, so we're playing the Sentient. We're going to pair this with Stygian. Let's see what we can do. Now, both of these clans do have a little bit of synergy. Um, the Incant and uh, Heal Spam strategies pair well together. We'll see what we can do, though. We have Daedalus, the Experimental, Arcus, Shadow, Incarnate, Seraph, the Chaste. Chaste is annoying, though. All right. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Sigiled Seaweed is just so good. Um, you can never discount that. I know we are going into Chase, but I'm still going to take Spikes. Spikes makes the easy game easier, or not the easy game, the early game easier, and when you are playing high shards, having an easy early to mid game helps you actually scale up a lot better. Um, we're going to take that 10, we're just going to clear down there. Yeah, that's fine for me. Darn it. Um, we drop you in this. So we can get the kill. We take another three off here. Cool. We just tornado once again. And there we go. Um, we drop another one you. Pop in six damage. All right, so this represents 40 damage. This represents a lot more than that. Still not enough to quite get the kill, but we are going to only take, what, five damage up here? Yep. So not too bad on the damage. And Vine Grasp is background kill. Or not background, background target for free incants. We'll take that. I love an offering token. So I'm going to take that. All right, so we do see a Woken Banner, probably followed by this Stygian Banner. And we have Large Stone, ew. We have Steel Singer, fun. We have Sketches of Salvation, okay. Endless, darn it. Um, that's not what I want to see there. I think we just kind of wait. We're going to put a incant and a plus 10 into this guy, though. Just to have a little bit more sustain. We will take these unit drafts, though. Those are going to be nice. I guess we're going to go for a... Uh, well, that's annoying. Do something like this. Lame. <laughs> of course, that's the one that goes in front. That's just how luck works. I know that. We pull you out. We're going to get those going. We will take four damage. That's fine. 
We sting. That's only going to make it so it's three damage. Uh, we put the regen in you. The more regen, the better. Right. Um, we don't actually need any of those. We're just going to do that. It doesn't matter. Do we get the kill as is? We do. We're just going to end turn. That's going to give us as much regen as possible. There we go. We got through all the stacks. Nothing wasted. Little bit of damage. Uh, we do take that Razor Sharp just because the Razor Sharp is so good. I could do the Mollusk Mage Floor. Uh, but I'm going to skip that. I don't see Glimmer, which makes me sad. I do see a Lodestone Totem, and that's hilarious. So I'm going to take it. And do I want to start duping them right away? Answer is yes. Spell chain can go into restore. That's going to take a minus two later. Purge minus one into the lance, obviously. We're going to do this. And we're going to cry if uh, one of these don't show up center. Do I take the wing maker? Yes. Uh, minus one size would have been great. Or the plus 10 minus one size would have been great. If I had already upgraded my units, I don't have the upgrades. So we're just going to go with it. Look at that. I got both of them out. Easy peasy. Sorry. Easy, easy, lemon, easy. Now we're just going to start getting rid of units. Man, that sigiled seaweed once again. Quite nice. We're going to take that guy out so they don't have haste. Oh man, and Sap, that is actually, uh, it's working quite well, right? You're annoying. Go away. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this because we're clearly going to be casting these. Awesome. All right. Um, that is a heal, right? But we're just going to skip those. None of those really help what I want to do. Same with that. We have our strategy. We're going to take the draw. Uh, we're going to visit this Merchant of Steel. There we go. We put a multi-strike in one. We're going to put thorns in the other. We're going to re-roll. We're going to put the health in you. We're just going to put plus five, plus ten in you. And then I don't have to visit any more Merchant of Steel's. I guess I could have checked with it. There's a dupe. And there's a dupe. So I guess I could have visited one at the end. All right, plus 30 magic power is going to go on the wing maker because I kind of want to kill things. Guess we'll make that intrinsic as well. Uh, we're going to start putting train stewards together. We're going to get rid of the two crappiest ones first because I want to purge that. Stick 10 gold. Right, we only can have we only have room for four units. Um 
Perfect. I can keep those other two train stewards for now. We're going to start getting rid of the frozen lances. I could get rid of the ice tornadoes, but they are, you know, just kind of there. Bristling 2 is great. That's going to help me in case we get against, you know, annoying things that want to ascend. Spell shield, whatever. The multi-striker is in front, unfortunately, so we're just going to use the big heal right away. How dare you go up there? I want that gold. Awesome. We heal, heal, do this. We're actually going to pull you to the front. I do lose those now, which is sad. Um, but we still do the same action. Heal. Heal. Continue onwards. That is a chunk of damage coming at me, though. All right. That is going to do nothing there, but also nothing there. We'll just do it up here. All right, I will be taking some damage. Not enough to kill me, but enough to annoy me greatly. We put a heal, and then apparently we're out of Ember. There we go. Another win. Uh, you take the engraft, obviously. That's a heal plus encant. Could have been a glacial seal run for these trees, but no. We skip. Divine artifact. Skip. We'll just take the money. None of those actually are things we want. And we go this direction. Alright. Concealed caverns. What you got for me? 25 health. Yeah, we put this on you. The one we want to do. Overstack those upgrades is nice. Remove consumes not worth it. The minus one into the end graft is though. Uh, we do want some big heals, so we're going to put a plus 10 into the restore. We can get rid of that now. We can minus one. We want that to be a two cost. We remove one of those. And I think... Now we can remove one of these. And we are going to remove an ice tornado. They kind of stick in the hand, but uh, if I don't have to draw them at all, that's even better. This is fine. At least what I'm going to tell myself. Ooh, that's, not, that's a lot of silences. That's always good. Okay, you get that. We just clear this floor out. Might as well get the incant up here, right? Okay. I can kill one unit. Um, and then we can go pump, pump, pump. Awesome. We're just going to clear out this floor. Pump, pump, pump. Very cool. We want that one in the front because he's the scariest. And get a couple of those going. Very cool. Ooh, 
We do want as many spells as possible, but that's not going to happen. So we just have to do this. We will take spike damage, which I am not a fan of. I think that's fine, though. I guess we should just mostly focus on the backline one. Um, that would be the smart thing to do. We can send you forward. Because by focusing on that one, that gives me the better two targets. I mean, I like spraying them evenly, just in case. But now that I'm going to get the next two, but that's smarter to focus on the back one only. Um, no to the spreading spores. I could do the edge prior. Yeah, we're going to do an edge prior. And we skip. You know what? That's a plan. I have a plan. How many more temples do we got? We got one. This is the last temple. Okay, we go this direction. Horde. First health pack. You never know. Maybe I'll see a spike coming up. Minus two into this awake. That's that's nice. Um, purge minus one into an ice tornado. We're going to put this into the half. We are going to purge the two train stewards. And we dupe this guy. Okay. So that is all four units. That doesn't matter. So we are just going to start the heals. Um, we want our backliners to be the most help. The frontliner is just going to get healed occasionally. That's whatever. Uh, we will put the big heal on you, though. I mean, we are just going to sap poor Arcus to Oblivion, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's just do this. Let's get rid of some stuff. Why not? There we go, we get a kill as well. All right, you're pretty much filled. There we are. Yeah, this is easy. I guess what I could do for the final round, I have options. Um, I could probably purge. I mean, I could purge the Hep. The Hep is nice AOE plus one attack. It's not the most attack, right? But it is something. We take out the junk down there. We're gonna Wingmaker first, and then we're gonna get rid of this Ice Tornado. Beautiful. And we cast three of these. Uh, 
the front one doesn't matter. I can always rearrange it into a tank, which is nice too. And then there goes all the regen. We're still at 40 sap. Yeah. I like this. I have an army of trees. Trees produce sap. It's thematic. It works. We take an Awoken's Rail Spike because the game loves me. And we continue onwards. We go this direction. We say, hey, Divine Boons. We say, hey, remove consume. We go minus one into the rail spike. We say, what's that concealed caverns got for us? More stuff. We say goodbye to the razor sharp edge. Let's get an awoken rare. That is AOE healing, so I'm going to take it. It's less likely I get an infinite by taking that, but you know what? I am going to do this. Uh, we minus one this guy, so it stops giving me so much crap. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of both of the stings. We take Spike Sentient. We continue on with our life. Heaven Seal's fine. I think I can kill things pretty quickly here. I wonder how my attacks are stacking up. 121, 21. I actually did a pretty good job of keeping them even, which I like. That worked out very nicely. All right, let's get you to a big health number. I'm just gonna draw five, I think that's better. We do a bunch of heal here. Let's just bring you forward first, because why not? Everything is fully healed, which is cool. We'll draw six, because uh, the game loves me. That's whatever. I could just do like a rail spike and do an infinite, right? That is an option. We draw six again, look at that. And this dude's still alive. Wow. Okay. Draw seven, so we want to get rid of things. There we go, draw seven. Not anymore alive, but it's okay. We want to draw four. Very cool. All right. Five, six, fifty six. We are just Drawing cards like crazy. Bam, look at that, 51 sap. 
these poor things are not going to stand a chance. Bum bum bum, offering token, cool. Why not? He's not gonna get through this. We do some of this action. We can get rid of this offering token. We get it back for three cards. Yeah. Draw three, and then and we get the kill. Okay, yeah, this is just uh, a bunch of big things on the floor, punching things again with sap. Nice brutal high roll for me. Uh, we don't need a second engraft. I actually want to thin my deck as much as possible, so we're going to skip all that junk. We go this nice dupe side. We say, hey, that's very cool. We say, hey, thank for the skip. We say, hey, we're going to skip those as well. We're just going to dupe this. And then we're just going to purge things. Goodbye, fine grasp. <laughs> Now, with the purges, I am actually going to re purge my restores as much as possible. All right, that is a nice deck size. Um, you just need more health. I still have 240. Let's buy a rules containment. There we go. Why not? Why not? Now, let's see if I have enough for the infinite, right? That's what we're all dying to see. Well, it's what I want to see. Obviously not going to happen round one. But we are already putting 700 damage into poor Seraph. Okay, let's get rid of some cards. We're going to discard that. Then we're going to drop five. Awesome. Drop four again. Look at we see this. We're just gonna go ahead and discard you. Now we're getting ten cards next round. And we have a ten card deck. So now we do have the infinite. If you would visit me down here, you jerk. Oh, that's rude. I could just, yeah, um, I could just infinite Wingmaker here, right? We go Wingmaker, we get this, and that wouldn't be, that's not the slowest, but uh, I'd rather do it like this. We're going to go nine. I just want to draw up to ten cards next round. And I want stupid Seraph to come down to my trees. I said, come down to my trees. I don't want to take any damage, or uh, I mean, I guess I could take the upper drain. It doesn't really matter. But we'll still take that out. Uh, I'm only giant knife. Whoops. 
All right, you come middle this time. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that time where you went top was so annoying. Uh, we're just gonna unleash. We're gonna rail spike. We're just going to unleash rail spike. I guess we'll do this once just to save myself an attack. But now we're just going to do the infinite uh, until I get the kill. At least when I do it this way, I'm getting what five plus five encant damage. So I guess it's a little bit slower. We'll we'll still do we'll throw in the wingmaker too, just to make it a little quicker. Instead of only increasing five at a time, now I'm increasing what seventy-seven at a time. I'm getting fifteen sap each time. No, sorry, only three sap. Duh. The sap doesn't get doubled. Yeah. We need that extra damage in there. The nice thing about throwing in that full heal as I do this, it's a shame it's not a glimmer, right? Glimmer would have been amazing. Uh, but the nice thing about the full floor heal here is it will make the next fight against Divinity that much easier if I want to kill with the infinite. Which, why not? I have this. This is a good run to return to, you know. Just cast a bunch of spells. This, this is monster train. You you play spells, you kill the things. You do this infinitely. And eventually you might defeat a god. Dun, dun. It probably would be faster without casting the full heal. But it's not as much fun if I'm not pumping up those numbers, right? You just gotta wait and listen to me ramble. Hopefully these aren't too long. If they're too long, I can always like fade to black at the beginning and the end of this animation. Um, but then you'll miss out on all this fun rambling that I have going on. And who would want to miss out on this great voice? Personally, I would. I, like many people, do not like the sound of my own voice on recordings. That's probably because, you know, when you listen to yourself talk versus on a recording, the sound's different to you. I don't know how people can stand my voice. Alright, come on, Sarah. We're almost there. We're getting closer. So close. We're at, uh, 1,200 health. What, two more will get us there? Yep. And just so, uh, there we go, 333 sap. That is not the most sap I've ever seen. But, you know, it is a good amount. Um, because these guys are jerks, and I don't want my poor, poor sentient taking any more damage. We're gonna kill this up. I guess I could have done explosive at some point, you know, kill the things on the floor, get that up in the middle, and then explode for another, even more quicker. Sure, I need that shard of divinity. Thanks, Hef. I'm glad I put you on my train this time. Okay, divinity, bring it on. I think. You might lose here. I'm just gonna throw that out to you. We're gonna get rid of the Wingmaker right away. Ah, uh, man, do I have to do it this way? No. We are going to draw three here. We draw three, so now we can do the combo. Bam. Now, I could do this infinitely. Um, I think what we're instead going to do is just this. 
There we go. Now we draw 10. Because I, I'd rather just... make this a little bit quicker. It'll make it a little bit easier to watch as well. If I just simply clear out the floors. Yeah, and make sure I draw 10 each time. It's not as much points, but I, you know, you're not gonna watch me for 10 minutes just try to clear out everything then. It's only gonna be a few minutes. Ah, uh, we might as well give you the heal. Uh, me just clearing out the floors for the better punches. Nope, I have that guy slightly off now. Let's, uh, there we go, 255. Bam, bam, bam. And there's the last Wingmaker. We'll throw in another Unleash. Twelve hundred. Let's just get this up to the uh, ten draw. And I think after that, we'll probably just call it. Right. Twelve hundred damage. This guy survived. Whatever. You need to survive. But we get the kill. There we go. And end fight. I could have gotten the turn one kill, but you know, for brevity's sake, we'll just end a few turns and get the kills that way. Thanks, Hef, for the armor. Definitely saved my run. Bum bum, win streak, close. All right, run summary. So yeah, tree sap. Just uh, a couple of steel singers with lodestone totems shoved into them. Why not an edge prior heft the blacksmith paired with a finally an Awoken's rail spike and fin a combo? Yeah, it's good, right? Um, obviously in ring one a little damage, but not too much. And then we just a little bit more there and a lot here, but, uh, from there it pretty smooth five turn. This could have been the 10 turn. This was a six turn. Could have been like an eight turn, sorry, nine turn here. This could probably could have been an eight turn. Um, easy, easy. Yeah. It was, I mean, even if I didn't find the steel singer, there was other encant units that I could have used, um, would have work just as well with the sketches. I mean, Lodestone Totem, Siren of the Sea. I'm pretty sure I saw both of those. So yeah, this was a run. I got the kills. A 35 minute run for an infinite combo. That's a pretty nice return. Okay, if you want to try this challenge yourself, you are welcome to. The challenge code is Grill Arrest Elderly. Elderly, excuse me. Thank you for watching and have fun.